Alright. Oh, I always forget about this guy, because he's of no importance. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetris' cabin. Miss Tetris' cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting in an outsider in. We're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think about it. Oh, I suck at reading out loud. Like, it's weird. I can read... When I'm reading to myself, I can read just fine. Like, and quickly. But when I read out loud, it's like... God damn. Oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today... <clears throat> I am your superior. You're a rat. You are nobody's superior. Nico, now, I promise you I'll go easy on you. So do as I say, okay? Right, now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You want... You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no no mushy little brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only, this is the only easy part. To walk up and tilt up on the swirly thing, just step on it. Presto, switch pressed. A pirate ship has this kind of room. Now, check it out. After the platform's raised up from the floor, you gotta jump to them. Can I skip this because I'm, I know what to do? Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. But the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. He thinks he's all badass, but he's not. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it. Use up and down to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform. Then press A to let go and jump onto it. Yeah. Huh, huh. I think, yeah. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. So if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. I don't think, you know what? I don't think I've ever been able to do this first try. I always screw up at least once. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Okay, I like to lower the platforms because the timer... Like, it just, it's a waste of time. Okay, Let's see if I can do this for the first try, on my first try, for the first time, in the LP. Most likely not because it's an LP. Fuck it. <laughs> well, there you go. What are you doing? You have to jump and make it- Yeah, I know. Alright, I know how it works. Thank you. Okay, so, so much for that. But, okay, let's see if we can get it on the second try. Lower the platforms just to reset the timer. Make things easier. This doesn't seem very safe. The fact that you grab onto ropes- Ropes? Ropes. With, like, flames and stuff. Okay, turn the camera. Jump. Oh, 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 thought I overjumped it. Oh, almost overshot that one. Mother. God damn it. Okay. So it wasn't on the set. Third try is the charm. We'll go with that. Third try is the charm. Third time's the charm is the actual way you're supposed to say that. I've never been able to do this on my first try, ever. And it's, like, it's not even... Well, actually, it is kind of difficult, honestly. Like... Okay, I... Okay, you have to take your time with that first swing, otherwise you just overshoot it. Look at these moths around. I kind of like that. They have moths flying around the, the lights, the fire. A little attention to detail like that. Really cool. I mean, I don't know why they have a moth around every flame. It seems kind of unnecessary, but... You have to jump early than you think you should. There we go. Even then, I almost overshot it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, huh! Huh! Nerve-wracking. I almost overshot it. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna take my time with this one, and jump! 
perfect. If I'd missed that last jump, I would have thrown my controller. You did it already? Yeah, it only took me three tries, dude. Third, third, third time's the charm. I, I'm proud to have you as as my. Un you, I'm not your underling. I am better than you in every way. I I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry up and take it before someone comes. Nico. Is it Nico from Grand Theft Auto? Oh my god, look at that chest. That's some fancy stuff right there. I'm gonna break these first because I'm reckless and I don't care about other people's possessions. So, there you go. Okay, screw it. Let's open the chest. That's a magic chest. It's glowing on the inside. Da -da, you got the spoils bag. You can keep the item you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight types of items. Press X. <sighs> okay, I'll just read them backwards. Press X, Z, or Y on the item screen to see what's inside. Press Y, Z, or X again to use that item and connect. Hey, Tyra, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Hurry your butt up. All right, let's go. Time to visit the Forsaken for the first time. Um, I think there's a... I think there's a heart piece in the Forsaken Fortress that I can get now. I think it's a heart piece that... I can get it now, but it's easier to get later. So I might pass on it. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I don't know if I'm in a, an adventurous mood today. And Terrell, here I am up here. Alright, okay, let's go. To the rest nest. Where is it? Over there. Oh shit! That looks evil. Oh my god, that re that reminds me so much of um, Sly Cooper. That looks like a Sly Cooper area. It really does. That is totally Sly Cooper. I need to play Sly Cooper again. I haven't played it in so long. What are you doing with Nico? Um, I stole uh, a treasure. Well, I earned it technically, but I also stole it. Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Damn, you're good. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. I can barely hear my TV, because I have to keep it down so the microphone doesn't pick it up. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout for a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it! Look! Where? What? Where? Oh! A window. Over there, by that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. Either, the, either that or there's a piece of bread in the area. You shouldn't just assume things like that. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near the island. Hmm. What do we do now? Oh, shit. Okay, did they knock Link out to get him in that barrel? <laughs> Link makes the weirdest noise here. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. I highly doubt that. I'm sure there's a, another way to get in. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. You launch people out of, off of a catapult? Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. Oh shit. Oh god. Uh... Wait, Link's face here. I think it shows Link's face for a second. Yeah, right here. <laughs> it's hilarious. Smack! Right into the wall. Figures. They never lose the sword. Jeez, Link, you okay? I mean, in reality, you should probably be, you'd probably be dead. But this is a video game, so I'm sure you're fine. 
Yeah, see, no problem. Forsaken Fortress. Oh, snap. I don't know if I want to do the Forsaken Fortress right now. I've been recording for almost exactly an hour. Almost exactly an hour. That doesn't make sense. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off a little bit. Yeah, you think? Look on your face. Press I agree, though. I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone, either. I can see what you're doing through this stone. And obviously, you can hear me through it. So, if you see... Pointy A, you better press that button. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no pointy A on my controller. I put the stone in your quest app screen, press start, yeah. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, understand? Yes, ma'am.